Hello everybody, this is Limits bringing you guys another high level Halo Wars 2v2 video. This time I'm playing with Go Jade Go, and we are playing against Vig Smarty in a secondary account, and we are running Forge Arby, and the other team is running Forge Arby, and Forge Arby for this map is actually a pretty bad combo. And the reason I actually think that Forge Arby is a really bad combo for this map is because Cutter and Anders are better than Forge and the Brute is actually much better than the Arbiter on this map. So anyways, um, on this map generally the Forge is going to stay on a single base and lead into a secondary and basically me and Vig Smarty are doing the exact same strategy. It's a temple second turret build and that kind of ensures that you're going to get your hook so they can't really spawn lock you. And so this map actually has a lot of crates so it's important to keep your scout alive and Jade right there is going to lose his scout but he did build an extra so we're fine there. And so I'm gonna take my Arbiter and I will be going straight to my supply elevator to take the hook. And Vig Smarty is actually going to take a completely different approach to this uh, game than me. What Vig Smarty is going to be doing is he's going to be going straight to my base and taking his first suicide grunt and shoving it right into my pad right there. So. After looking back at this, it's probably a better idea to do what Vig Smarty is doing this game, as opposed to what I'm doing this game. Um, what's going to happen here is Vig Smarty, going straight to my base, is going to draw my Arbiter back to play defense. And although I do have the side elevator, um, as Vig Smarty runs away right here, the forge is actually going to take me right out of my supply elevator and there's the forge taking me out of the elevator so basically my arbiter just took damage and I'm a little over half health but I'm losing everything I worked for right away and Vig Smarty is actually quite far ahead of me after that um, outcome Local units. What so I'm actually thinking of ways I can make ground on Vig Smarty after what just happened and what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take the empty pad right here I'm gonna clear this out and I'm gonna build another supply pad over here and the good thing about this map is that it'll actually drop a whole bunch of supply crates after I clear out this last rebel so once again um, Vig is back at my base and Jade is actually going to have to play defense with flamethrowers and if you look at the top left corner on the mini map there's a white box so their forge um, is already on a secondary and Jade is still on a single base so we are actually behind right now So I'm kind of concerned with what what to do right now. I could go after the uh, forge expansion and try and grunt that down, but I'm actually going to end up rage running all the way over to Jade's hook and trying to help him save it. But the guy pelicaned over quite a few flamethrowers, and I'm just going to be able to clean up, but not prevent him from getting the hook. And one thing about this map, um, you probably should never have to pelican. I think the guy for pelicaning right there was actually doing a very bad move. Because the map is so tiny that you can basically just walk your infantry anywhere. So, at this point I'm kind of wondering if I should get Citadel or tech my Arbiter and I'm gonna click the base right there I see he's still on a keep so I'm not in a really big hurry to get Citadel so I'm actually just gonna tech my Arbiter since he's on a keep as well 
and Jade ended up taking our hook, and I kind of ping it because he didn't um, grab it right away. And Jade is also trying to get a secondary base right now. So I'm rage running all the way back over here, and it was basically to kill that ghost just because I didn't want Big Smarty to have eyes on the map. And I failed, and now my arbiter's over there for no reason. So. Vig Smarty's doing a great job right here of stopping Jade's secondary, and that's very stressful. Especially since uh, we are very far behind in the uh, UNSC battle right now. So right now I could probably do, be doing a lot more useful things with my Arbiter, but it turns out that it's actually a really good idea that I have my Arbiter back here on defense just kind of following Vig Smarty because he's going to walk up to my base here and he's going to try to port in a grunt and drop my turret and I'm going to be able to rage it right away. And then I'm also going to keep raging his Arbiter with my turrets here and we're going to even out the uh, health of the Arbiter bars. So Jade actually ends up getting his secondary and both UNSCs are on two bases but their UNSC has been on a secondary for the longest time. What is going to help Jade out here though is that um, Jade has both the side elevators so even though Jade has not been on two bases he's been getting a lot of supply still. And my Arbiter did accidentally um, lock onto a Marine and I missed quite a quite a chunk of that heal. But right now, even though we are a little bit behind, my uh, free side pads and Jade's supply elevators are actually um, keeping us on par with the other team. So Jade's actually going to get taken out of that supply elevator now and he does have a Spartan tank and a few tanks but they don't have canister shell yet and I think that they're gonna be pushing on my base so I'm actually just gonna throw up another supply pad here and get ready and I'm telling Jade to get his flamethrower in the elevator right now and so he's gonna start doing that and now my base is gonna get hit so Jade has two stock or two stock uh, Spartan tanks, and they have two stock Spartan tanks and two stock tanks. And so with our two tanks and my RB, we are going to be able to fend this off. And the guy's going to get canister shell in the middle of this, and Jade gets beat out on that supply elevator. And I'm gonna kind of get that tank and run away here. But I take a mean canister shell right there and lose a lot of health. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to walk over to my side pad here and basically heal up while Jade uh, clears the supply elevator and ends up taking that. The bad thing about what just happened though, um, from our perspective here, is that Vig Smarty wasn't in that fight at all and that means he had a whole bunch of time to just be building air with all that money that I just raged so even though we have the tank battle um, I'm now behind in the air battle so we are pushing right now on Vig since he does have the air lead and we're gonna try and drop some summits and I'm gonna actually rage back here and I need to get out of that type of rage mode so I can actually hit air units. And uh, I'm going to run back here and try and take out the air that's been chasing Jade's tanks. And then I can see that the secondary account, their forge player, has brought his tanks up. And I get triple canister shell glitched, so my Arbiter um, basically falls flat. That's kind of annoying. I hate people that abuse the uh, canister shell glitch. But now Jade is in a bad position. 
because he has banshees on him and the other forge is kind of pushing up with his tanks right there and Jade's trying to heal up Local units. so I did actually have a suicide grunt that I never unlocked from my base and that's going to be used for our reactor Local units. so I can get tech 2 and build some vampires but apparently with Jade's one or two wolves that he built, he was actually able to take a good chunk of Vig Smarty's Banshees out. So when the forge pushed, it wasn't that big of a deal. I'm in a oh, he went with his shield. So Vig Smarty actually shielded up as well. So we're not going to be able to drop those summits. Vig also gets his Arbiter out, but Jade takes care of that. And once again, the uh, tanks are engaging in a battle. So I'm actually going to start raging and get in there and try and draw a canister shell off on my Arbiter. So there's a D-bomb, and I hear it before it drops, so I just started running my Arbiter away. And I asked Jade if that was his D-bomb, and it wasn't, so that was kind of an odd place for somebody to drop a D-bomb. But the kind, like the battle just kind of ceased after the uh, D-bomb was dropped. And Jade's just going to heal up, and I'm just going to work on getting vampires out. And I was actually asking right there if Jade had power turret soon, and he said he wasn't even going for it. So if we do have a chance at losing this game, it would be because their forge would get power turret and basically outmuscle us in tanks. So me and Jade are kind of just going to work on getting power turret. And right here, um, I'm just going to send my vampires back to take care of that banshee. And the tanks are going to run into a little bit of conflict with each other again. And I'm kind of just trying to move my vampires around the map uh, more so than help them out with raging. And that's basically because I see that Vig Smarty is still building banshees and porting them in. So I'm actually going to run in here and see what I can do when I see that I'm no longer near Jade's tanks and I kind of put myself alone with uh, their forge's tanks and so I'm just gonna kind of run out of there and recall so I don't lose my arbiter and since my arbiter is basically black barred and I need to get a heal um, big smarty thinks that this is a good time to push and they're gonna be pushing on my base but Jade does have the uh, tank battle won right now, and although they do have an Arbiter, they kind of just backed off because Jade has the tank numbers. And so I'm just going to kind of get my vampires out of there because I was giving the Arbiter health. And uh, now I just got out of the reactor for Jade, and now he's going to get power turret. What shall I do? And once again, Jade's been in those uh, supply elevators like all game, and that's really been a huge reason why he was ahead uh, of the UNSC for so long. So basically, uh, Jade gets his power turret queued up, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get right back in the reactor and I'm actually going to get a secondary base. So I do actually have the air lead and um, both of our arbiters, me and Vic, we're both tech 2 arbiters but the difference is that I actually have um, air lead so what I'm going to be doing with my vampires now is I'm going to be moving around the map with hook control and ensure that we have it basically because they have nothing to kill my vampires and if they're gonna move their tanks underneath my vampires that kind of lets us go wherever we want with our tanks so 
I'm going to actually end up getting my secondary here. Um, not contested. They're not going to try and stop it or anything. And we're actually going to push up on the supply elevator. So, uh, Jade is actually now walking another Marine to that supply elevator, and we're sitting pretty once again. And we just get power turret here, and we're going to be pushing up when we see that, uh, Yellow is pushing up over by Jade as well, and he has power turret. So their Arbiter's in there raging, so I'm going to get my Arbiter in here. But my Arbiter kind of takes the uh, canister shell from those three um, Spartan Power Turret tanks, and I get crushed pretty quickly. But as you can see, the tank numbers are heavily in our favor, and although Jade is fighting an Arbiter in there, he is going to be dropping a D-bomb. Not sure if he really needed the D-bomb because the Arbiter was really low on health, but... He ends up dropping the D-bomb, and I'm going to continue with my vampires to take up control. And so basically, uh, Jade ends up killing the majority of Yellow's tanks. I think Yellow has like one or two tanks still. And I'm going to end up getting that hook. So we do have almost complete hook control again. And my Arbiter is uh, about out and I'm going to be buying the tech upgrade. So I'm going to be tech 3 here in a minute. And Jade's kind of just sideswiping. And I see that Vig Smarty has a few vampires out. But... I'm going to take care of the vampires, and Jade's getting raged, but not a big deal. He's going to finish off that Arbiter pretty easily, and we're just going to kind of uh, back off here, regroup, and then go in for the uh, kill, and before we do that, I'm going to get Ghastly, so we're going to fall back here. I have the Air War. He has the tank lead, but he's going to heal up here in a minute, and that's when... Uh, that's when these guys are going to actually end up resigning, and I think that's because they, the uh, Forge really was crippled after that attack right there. So I think that's why they're going to resign, but this was actually a pretty fun game. Good uh, RB Forge mirror on a map that is kind of bad for both combos. And... Local uh, units. Hope you guys enjoyed the 2v2. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, you guys have a great day. Your team is victorious.